Today we have this nice disintegration effect for you. You can use it to build or destroy something. It also works well for screen transitions. What we want to do is to split an image into a grid of cells. We add a uniform to tell us how many cells we need. We can split the world into cells by multiplying the UV coordinates that go from 0 to 1 with the fragment number. This variable now goes from zero to fragment number. If we call fract on a vector, we get the decimal part of both values of the vector. We can visualize this by writing it into the color variable. We can see this value runs from zero to one fragment number of times. We now want to dissolve each of the cells individually. For that, we just calculate their distance from their center point with distance. We can visualize this. The brighter the pixel, the higher is the distance. We can now add a uniform dissolve state that describes how far the material is already dissolved. If the distance is smaller than the dissolve state, the pixel should be invisible. The step function is zero when the left value is larger and one otherwise. We can multiply the alpha with the step pixel dist dissolve state. So alpha gets multiplied with zero whenever the pixel is too far from the center. You could also do this with an if. And honestly, it is fine here. But shaders don't really like ifs all that much, especially if both branches can evaluate differently for different pixels. We can now finally add something to dissolve. Sample the sprite's texture with color equals texture texture using the unmodified UV coordinates. We can now add an animation that animates the dissolve state as well as the sprite scale. It will look as if the cells stay roughly the same size, just move closer. You can run it both ways, depending on if you want to build or destroy it. And as a little bonus, you can add the UVX to the dissolve state to make it dissolve from left to right. That is great for screen transitions. Let us know if you like this quick VFX kind of video. What effects would you like to see next?